Good evening. Welcome to the Tuesday, August 13th, 2019 Board of Selectmen meeting. Uh, do we have a full board tonight? Town manager, town clerk, and a room full of people. Uh, please stand with me and salute the flag. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> um, we have uh, meeting minutes from July 23rd that we need approved. I would move the minutes from July uh, 23rd as presented. I'll second them. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. Uh, first public, oh, we have no public hearing. Nope. Is, uh, <coughs> is our first public comment. Is, uh, if you have a public comment, please step to the podium. Is, uh, state your name and where you live. And no, it looks like we all have a lot to say. Go ahead, gentlemen. They're, they're all there. We'll, we'll listen to you all, don't worry. Tony, uh, Tony Sincotta, Cranberry Meadow Road. I'm here on behalf of the American Legion Post. Uh, the Post would like to do a solicitation, a toll booth solicitation, uh, before Veterans Day in November. We already have uh, coordinated with the police department. They're on top of it. They're on board with this 100%. I just felt as a trustee over there that we should get concurrence of the board. Uh, last year, the VFW down in South Berwick made over $8,000 wow. in one day, six hours. Mm -hmm. uh, our, we have a lot of charities that we support locally. We need the money. So uh, we're planning on doing this if, in fact, you concur with that. Is, where will you be setting it up, Tony? Well, that's up to the police department. Okay. I'd like to go on the bridge, but that ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put a toll barrier up. <laughs> uh, that's not going to happen, because right. I like to take some of New Hampshire's money, too. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to them, but they got, I'm meeting with them uh, September, sometime next month, Tommy, and they're going to let me know where, and this is what we'll do. We'll do whatever they tell us where they want us to go. And do you have a firm date? No. No? No firm date. All right. It's just a program we think will bring in some money. You should try it on the bridge. I mean, you, you, it's going to be s sitting there parked while the lights are red, right? That's a good time to hit them. <laughs> be like the, like the guys washing windows in the cities, right? Yeah, you I know? mean, I'd, park, I'd <laughs> do it on the bridge. It'd be a great spot. Well, yeah. again, I, I, I'm going to leave it up to the police department to uh, tell us because they're going to have to, you know, it's, it's a traffic control. This is a little tricky, you know. I mean, stopping people and asking for money. Uh, you got to make sure that you do it right, and I want to make sure that we do do it right. So you will. Any any questions of Mr. Sincotta? No. Nope. I say no full questions? speed ahead. No. no. Go ahead. It, it, you going to vote on that? Is uh, so moved. No. <laughs> we have I'd a motion. We have, we have a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second it. All those in favor? Thank you. No, thank you, Tony. We we appreciate everything that the uh, Legion does for us here in town. <laughs> Next up. Come on, Hokey. You next. Well, I'm Hokey from the uh, Burke Transfer Station. This is the first of two meetings I'll be coming to. Uh, as this waste day will be September 7th on a Saturday from 9 to 1. Uh, I notice on this list that we have, there's a couple items that you do not have to take over there like antifreeze and transmission fluids because we do take those at the transfer station. But I, we've been handing these out. I have some on the table over here, and uh, everybody's welcome to help themselves to it. This will be at the, the South Berwick maintenance facility between Route 4, I mean between South Berwick and North Berwick, where the school buses are. We've been holding it there for the last couple of years right. anyways, and it hasn't changed. So, is there any questions? No. Can we get well, that? going to be short and sweet. Can we get that information put up on the website? I'm sure we can. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. I already got signs posted at the transfer station. Yeah. We'll but put it on the web page anyway, you know, on yep. BCTV. Sure. Okay, Everybody then. Thank it. you. Thank you, Hope. Have a good evening. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Hokey. See you in one. 
Thank you. Yeah, they usually do for me. <laughs> Nicole Fecto, um, a Berwick resident and planning board member. So I'm coming for two reasons. One is to invite the public to a public hearing that we're having on Thursday at the regular Berwick planning board meeting. It's at 6.30 and the public hearing is for the new Berwick Fire Department that everybody voted on. Um, it's also the renovation of the police station and that whole project is going to be the Berwick Public Safety Complex. And I thought it'd be great for the public to come and participate and really look because it's a great, wonderful, beautiful presentation that the engineers and de the developers have um, done. So we're also, the planning board will also be reviewing the proposed plans for the community parking lot on Sullivan Street that night. And there is still a public hearing open on that application as well. We would love the public to come because I've seen a lot of questions about that online and people feel like they don't know what's going on. So here's how you can find out what's going on. Come to the planning board meeting Thursday at 630. Um, a site walk has not been held for either of these projects. That's another option um, for the public to participate. We would like to, the board would like to see a strong participation from the townspeople on both of these applications because it's their property. It's something that they voted on and it's important for everybody as we grow as a town. Um, the other thing that I would like to bring up, I, I know it's on your agenda tonight for um, a possible appointment of Frank Underwood to the Berwick Planning Board to fill in for <coughs> Paul Bovair. Um, so I'd like to offer my support of the appointment of him. I would like to speak for my whole board in um, in that we we have all you know we put our a lot of uh, faith in Frank. Um, he's a former citizen of the year. He's demonstrated that he's a vested interest in helping the town move forward. Anybody that's talked to him knows that. Um, he's also got a vast and deep knowledge of our land use ordinance, our comprehensive plan engineering and development concepts and I think he would be a very valuable member for us until Paul can return because Paul is kind of like the grandpappy of the board and he's been on it so long so uh, he's he's got all the the back knowledge we have a pretty young and new board and so it, we feel like we need a town elder maybe to help us out <laughs> that's I all I have appreciate folks. being called a town elder but <laughs> <laughs> any other public comment Step right up, Andrea. Andrea Wimet, Berwick. Um, I've come for two reasons. Uh, we're not going to need the services of Coast Boss, so you guys don't have to keep. Uh, we've gotten York County Community Action to take over. Good, good. So they're coming in the park and picking people up at the door and stuff. And also, um, I know they dug the ditches on uh, Pine Hill Road and stuff, mm -hmm. and when they did close to our park, instead of putting um, sand or gravel or whatever that they did to the other dri driveway or some kind of stone, the patch it, yes. they did cold patch. And that goes underneath all the vehicles, and there's a big hole there in both entrances. Road's going to be paved. I know that. Mark, but how long we've we been dealing with that? Uh, I know, but you know, it's, they put off the paving. We're waiting, for, you know. Well, why did they do that and do it to the other driveways? Well, I think I think it was it, because it got delayed. I don't think it was meant to be this long. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it got put off. It got put off, right, Steve? Yeah. Um, we were just talking about that earlier. Okay. All right. But, but it's got to be sometime. It was supposed to start now. last month. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just that all the other driveways are, you know. It's, uh, it's, uh... It's stone dust. Yes. Right. This is cold patch that you drive over, and it's a big hole. Right. I know, I know. All right, thank have you. Have patience, mm -hmm. have patience. We'll thank, get it. Thank you, Andrea. I don't have much. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the reasons we like you. <laughs> yep. Um, any other public comment? <coughs> Well, you can speak now. It, it, you're already standing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm Pat Bovere, um, Six Country Lane, and I'm here speaking for my husband, Paul Bovere, who's a planning board member, and um, he was uh, very excited that uh, Frank Underwood put forth his um, 
application to take his place until he gets better and he supports him entirely and um, I'm hoping you consider that when the time comes for making that appointment. Is, how is Paul? Paul is improving daily. Right. He's up in Kennebunk, correct? Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're glad to hear that. Yeah. You know, yeah. as Nicole said, Paul's been a member of the planning board for, I think, 25 years now almost. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's the original founding member or something. You know. In between, you know, Paul and yourself, you know, is uh, you're involved in most everything that goes on in town here. So, is uh, we're waiting for the dynamic duo to get back together here. <laughs> It'll be good to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other public comment? I think this is the most public comment we've had in months. Long time. Is I, I have a couple comments to make. Is uh, first, I want to you know tell everybody about the, the wonderful time we had out front here a couple weeks ago is we had the concerts out front it was a wonderful time is uh, we had storms in the area and they just missed us they all went just to the west of us is um, is uh, two two different bands played is <clears throat> at one time I was helping videotape it for BC TV and I counted 250 people there at one time you know so it was very very popular and uh, it, it went well, it was, ran smoothly. I want to you know, thanks James and his group for doing that. It was an amazing time. As, uh, we have one more coming up on the 24th. So it's bring your lawn chairs, five o'clock downtown. As, uh, we'll have a good time. Um, and <coughs> is, my next comment is, is, I've been saying this at all the meetings I've been going to lately is, we need to have people volunteering. As we have openings on boards, we have absences, we have the comprehensive plan that we're starting to get going. As people in town, if you really want to take and form the direction the town is going on, get involved. As it doesn't do any good to sit at home and complain over the airwaves, complain over the internet, is you're gonna get town and get involved is it takes some time you don't need to be an expert in things all you need to do is be concerned with what's happening in Berwick so if anybody's interested in any openings we have two alternate positions on this planning board now I believe just one alternate, one alternate. Is, um, <coughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no we'll even make exceptions for you is, uh, but it is, uh, you know, there are other, other boards and, and commissions in town that need help. So if you're interested, contact the town hall and uh, we'll be directed on how you can get involved. Thank you. <coughs> uh, reports of committees, uh, BCTV. I don't know if Terry's still here or not. Is, uh, she gave a report last week. Is, I don't she'll give one this week. Envision Berwick is... Um, I just gave a little bit of what we're doing is uh, concentrating on the the summer concerts right now. So, is uh, we'll go to department reports. Anything no. there? No. Nothing there. <coughs> All right. That brings us to appointments, presentations, and other guests. We have a sewer district board of directors appointment. Um, we have two people who brought forward their name to ask to be to serve on this. We only have one opening. So is, uh, um, I know Mr. Oh Dudley's God. here and Ken Powers. Ken Powers. I'll ask each one of you to step to the podium and introduce yourself and uh, tell us why you, why you want to do this. Um, well, just like you were saying, I'd like to help the community. Is, uh, can you state your name, please? Oh, I'm, I'm Mike Dudley. I live on Old Pine Hill Road uh, in Berwick. I work at Lonza Biologics. I've been there for over 20 years. I've done hazmat training. I work with the water system at that facility. I'm still there. I've been in biotech for about a little over 30 years. And um, uh, like he was saying, I just want to help out in uh, my community and uh, join a board. Join a, a board and um, I heard it was going to be very interesting and, and fun. So um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> fun, huh? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't so. know where you got that notion from. <laughs> but if not, that's okay too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, any questions of Mr. Dudley? No. No. no I appreciate you taking this, a, taking yeah. the time and opportunity yeah. to volunteer. Thank you. No. Yeah. Is this and something we vote on tonight? How do we 
Yeah. How do we choose between two people? Well, we well, do we vote on it. We go in executive yeah. session. How does that work? Uh, no, no, no. 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 Yeah, I wouldn't mind taking all you guys out to dinner and uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe see what we can do there. But <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cross the street. Thank you, Mr. Dunn. Thank Is, you. Uh, Ken Powers. Uh, Ken Powers, 330 Diamond Hill Road. Um, basically ditto. Exactly what you said, I'd want to get involved with the town. I felt this was a good way to do it. Um, I bring a lot of background in finance. I've been working, giving out loans, mortgages for 20 years. Just started, just got my real estate license. About two months ago, I started doing that with uh, Portico Realty. So I'm getting involved with that. And um, I'd like to get more involved in the town, honestly. So this, I felt like this was a really good way to get started, get my foot in the door, and get involved, make a good change. If one of you folks didn't make it on the the um, sewer board, would we'll you be interested us. on the planning board? Yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> Can we strike a deal? Backroom <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. deal? <laughs> uh, um, Depends on what it involves. I know that this is a one month, um, one time a month deal. They meet once a month. So I, I also coach down at the Squires here, so I'm Got a lot, of, a lot going on. So one, once a month is good for me. I don't know how much, how often that is. The planning board is twice is twice a month. Oh, so still in a few other times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, is uh, oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Is, uh, Stephanie, the chairperson of the sewer district. The sewer Hi, trustee. I'm Stephanie Roachford. I'm the current chair of the Berwick Sewer District Board. Um, I just want to be here to be able to greet whoever our, my newest member is, and I want to emphasize that in the world of wastewater treatment, our top three priorities are safety of our employees, and we have an excellent record of no lost time accidents, and environmental compliance, and we are just doing great with that too. And our, then our third big priority that I'm sure everyone is going to want to love to hear about is doing all that, it's money, in the most cost-effective way possible. And I'm sure you noticed that we didn't ask for any money to go mm. on to the, um, when we did the our, warrant, right? yeah, yeah, this time. So we're succeeding with that too. We have a really good board right now, and we're just looking for someone else who is willing to work with us. And I'm just here to greet and support whichever of these candidates the board decides on. Thank you. Thank you. Is uh, Priscilla still on the board? No. No, she's, she's no, off, um, right? No, Ken Hall is our new Ken, treasurer right now. Ken Hall is a new yeah. treasurer. Okay. Is, uh, thank you. Further discussion between the board here is uh, we have you know, two candidates that uh, seem to be qualified, you know, one in, in one area and one in the other. So is, uh, it's a matter of how we f think this can all work out for the best for the, the town and the district. <clears throat> Any comments, suggestions? <clears throat> so what is your, what's your job there, Mike, at, um, at Lonza? Yeah, Lonza Biologics in, oh, sorry. Oh, please up. Uh, yeah, I work at Lonza Biologics in, in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, the big uh, yeah, yeah, I know biotech well company. Yeah. And um, so right now I'm, I, I work in, um, uh, on the bioreactors. Um, we also have to deal with um, interviews with the FDA. We have to be in compliance. Um, I and how does, safety how does Lonza affect the sewer that. system at uh, Pease? Excuse me? How does Lonza, what they discharge, affect the, the sewer system at Pease? Um, it, it, it's re it's regulated. Um, I think it's every month. I think that they get checked out and make sure that uh, nothing happens, nothing bad is going into the into the sewer. It's all um, the way they have it now. It's would be really impossible for something from our company to um, <coughs> something bad hit the sewer. You know, it goes into into the sewer. Yep. Um, that's all. That's all covered by <coughs> our. We have hazmat teams and everything else that. So it would really be difficult for that to happen. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Questions, comments, observations? <clears throat> well, 
Okay, put us in a bind. <laughs> <laughs> we hate to give up two good people. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> You did say that there was other positions open in, on, on the board, on other boards. Right. Um, I don't know what they entail or anything, but, you know, maybe that's something maybe me and Ken can look at as well. Um, on the planning board, I'm right? I'm kind of in the same boat as him, you know, doing the, you know, once a month is, is great. But if there's something else, I'd be more than happy to to join on that, depending on what the how the schedule is. Was it an alternate uh, to on the planning board? Yeah. We, have an alternate. we do have somebody that's put in a letter already. I think that's coming to your next meeting, but then we'll just have two people to, to decide. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> or you'll have to decide on two people for planning work. Right. Um, but yeah, we do have one alternate position available. Cool. Um, can somebody just describe that a little bit? The planning board? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to describe the planning board. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really good board. It's it's um we have a lot of fun. Um, but the planning board, basically what we do is we uphold and interpret the land use ordinance, which is what the, all the townspeople vote on. And then we also make changes to the land use ordinance. We um, make sure that we follow the comprehensive plan, which I call like the Bible. It's like the doctrine of the town. And make sure that <coughs> everything that comes through the planning board follows the doctrine of the town, the land use ordinance, um, and then if there is any public input, then we take that into consideration. It's a lot of fun. We do uh, the first and third Thursday of the month. It's a great, I mean, I'm a real estate agent. You'll lose a lot of business being on the board. <laughs> Not even going to lie. But, <laughs> but you'll learn, no, but you'll learn a lot. I mean, yeah, you, you, but you'll, you'll learn a lot. It's, um, it's a really a dynamic position and you get to work closely with the select board you get to work closely with the townspeople and uh, I don't know I I enjoy it. it's my favorite job that I have and it's the only one I don't get paid for <laughs> I think that sounds a perfect job for <laughs> <laughs> well it's funny you say that because I think your your qualifications uh, kind of suit you kind of suit the planning board, and I think y you suit uh, the sewer district, in my personal opinion, just from looking at your initial yeah, me too. description. So, think, yeah. um, to me, I feel that, personally, I would, I would, I'd like to uh, select Mr. Dudley for the term on a sewer district. I'll second that motion. Yeah. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Thank you very much, Thank Michael. You. Thank you. <laughs> and, and Ken, don't run away. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> I really think you'd be a great fit for the planning board, honestly. So if you're still interested, I think it would be a great opportunity yeah. for you. Tomorrow night. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. 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 Sorry. I give you. It, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask for that discussion to go yeah, on sorry. at another time. Okay, is uh, so that brings us to the planning board appointment. Is uh, I don't have Frank's uh, letter with me, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> as as we heard earlier, is uh, Paul Bouvier has been uh, stricken with the Powassan virus and um, and uh, can't you know fulfill his duties. Um, he and Frank have worked closely together over the last few years, you know, with the Envision Berwick and, you know, doing things for the town. And, uh, you know, Frank, you know, came forward and said that he would like to be appointed to fill uh, <clears throat> Paul's position until Paul can come back to fill that position. Um, his position is up in 20 December of uh, 2020. No, so is um, you know hopefully Paul can come back before then and resume his his work. But is um, Frank's you know been active in the town forever. As uh, you heard two people out here already you know talk him up. Is uh, you know is uh, Frank and I sometimes have our differences, but we always work together, and uh, we we always bring things forward for the the best of the town as far as I'm concerned. So. Any other questions, comments, or discussions? So you're going to make a 
This is a temporary appointment and not the yeah temporary until Paul right. comes back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Is, uh, so you're gonna make the. Uh, I'll make a motion that we appoint Frank Underwood yep. to uh, fill in for uh, Paul Bouvier on the planning board until such a time as uh, Paul can come back or until his term ends in December of 2020. Second your motion. Any further discussion? No. All those in favor? Thank you. <coughs> and thank you to Frank. Um, unfinished thank you, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. Um, unfinished business. We don't have any. We have none under that. Uh, town manager's report. I've got a few things. Uh, we were talking earlier at the beginning of the meeting, uh, <coughs> some of the paving, <coughs> especially the reclaiming uh, roads of Worcester and um, uh, Pine Hill uh, have been delayed be just because of equipment shifting around and appointments. So that is looking at uh, probably starting in September. Um, hopefully it doesn't change again and hopefully we can get our base down before it gets too cold. Uh, the prime uh, bids for these uh, blue sort building in the parking lot have come in. Uh, Rick Crediri and I sat down and looked at those. Those will be on the agenda for <coughs> the next meeting for you to approve. Um, they, uh, they had some good bids. Some of them came in. One together, one doing excavation, the other doing uh, the hazmat cleanup in the blue sort building. So it's a lot of... Uh, the, bl the blue side building staying as it is now, we're just going to... Yes, we, they're just removing the asbestos and, and they're put, laying down a seal on the floor because of gas and stuff. And yeah, they're, they're going to epoxy the floor to seal yeah. it. Yeah. And that's so, all covered under a grant, right? Yeah, that's yeah. under our, our brownfield, brownfield funding. Yeah. Um, so that we have more than enough funding to take care of that and, and do a few other things. Um, also, last week, uh, the contractor who is interested in uh, hopefully buying Prime Site was here and walked through the buildings with uh, Rick Vandenberg and James. Uh, they took him up on the roof so they could get a real good view of how large a piece of property that is. Uh, they walked through the buildings um, and they came away, from what I understand, with very positive. Uh, outlook on what the possibilities are here. So that was uh, very encouraging. Uh, fire station, uh, we have a public hearing on uh, this Thursday, and then they do, they'll do on the 5th, they'll do a walkthrough on, e on that site, and uh, hopefully uh, the following meeting we'll get approval for that project. Um, and then we can start. The demolition project uh, is scheduled for the week of the 19th. Uh, finally, CMP was able to get their, their ducks in a row, and they've, uh, Roland, our uh, electrician, is working with them, and, and they'll start doing that so we can get the demolition done. So uh, a lot of things will be going on in uh, the near future. Uh, again, we hired a new finance director, um, Lisa Vargas, and she, we are excited to have her on board. She's got a lot of experience, and uh, she's... Uh, already jumped in and likes all the stuff that she's doing, so we're, we're encouraged. And at this time, I'm gonna give it back to Tom uh, to uh, one of the things we didn't get it on the agenda, but tonight we are going to award the Spirit of America Award. Uh, last year it was the American Legion Post, and this year it's somebody else. <coughs> Is, uh, this is, as Steve said, this is the uh, Main Spirit of American Foundation tribute and it's honoring Eleanor Murphy. <clears throat> Whereas Eleanor M. Murphy, a citizen of Berwick, has served her community as a volunteer, mentor, and elected official serving in the Maine State Legislature in the House of Representatives, she has also served as a member of the Board of Selectmen and Berwick Budget Committee. She has also served on the Town of Berwick Public Library Board of Trustees. She has been very active and positive member in the Berwick community and continues to attend Board of Selectmen meetings. Whereas she has been a Maine State Representative serving in the House of Representatives for the Town of Berwick for 18 years. Whereas she served as the Berwick citizens, served the Berwick citizens as a member of the Board of Selectmen for four terms or 12 years. Whereas she served as chairperson for the Berwick Budget Committee for 10 years. 
whereas she is a charter member of the Berwick Historical Society, whereas she is a member of the Berwick Library Association, whereas she is a member of the York County Budget Committee, she served on the Board of Directions of York County Community Action, whereas she served on the Maine Municipal Association Legislative Policy Committee, and whereas she continues to serve as an election clerk, and I'm sure I missed something, <laughs> is therefore it be resolved by the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Berwick in sincere gratitude and appre appreciation that Eleanor M. Murphy is hereby recognized for her exemplary citizenship and achievement and honor brought to the community with a 2019 Spirit of America Foundation tribute. Eleanor, please step forward. <laughs> the first time you've been at a loss for words? Yeah, it's been a pleasure all my life to serve my town. And I, and I always said when I was in Augusta, nobody stood on the main floor any prouder than I did to represent the town of Brewer and its citizens. And I still feel that way. And that's why I asked you if you had an age tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I just wish I could serve more, but I can't. Mm. But I appreciate it. I, I just don't know what to say. Thank you. This means, you don't know what this means to me. But I didn't come here tonight for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Andrea did a good job keeping I it from she you. Did. Yeah. Yeah. She did. She's sneaky. You better <laughs> Thank you, Eleanor. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to say just one thing. Yeah, it was kept secret. I you've got to come because we're going to talk about the coast spots. But I hope you guys remember about Coast Blast next year when it comes to budgets. Yeah. <laughs> they don't let us forget. But, but I would like to say on behalf of um, the Upcoming Community Action Bus Service, believe me, they, no one does any better than they do. And even years ago, York County Community Action, we were number one in the state. And I was always very proud of that. I served 14 years on that committee, and I was treasurer for quite a few of the last years. And, they really did a great job for people in, in this county. It and took I, me one week to get answers from you. Nice. Wow. And that's all I have for town manager. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I, I have no select miscommunications. I do have a question for oh. Steve. Uh, sounds like last year and this year with the paving, mm -hmm. are we having an issue because we end up getting bids and getting it approved so late in the year that they, they kind of back up with work that they can start right away? Is there a way we can look at maybe yeah. getting something in place so that they could start it at the beginning of the work year instead of halfway through? Yeah, since, since we have a 10-year uh, plan, and it changes a little bit every year because we can't afford to do some roads on the list. Uh, but I've already started to look at putting the bid together and getting it out by January or February. But you have to remember, too, there are some towns, and I'll just mention South Berwick, who has already had a, they borrowed money, they had a big bond, and they had four or five years' worth of work laid out already for uh, Libby Scott. So we're up against that at different times. That's the only time I'm aware of it does that, but I'm sure there were some. But yeah, we're right. going to try to make adjustments so we can get on the list okay. sooner. So that maybe and we, we only have, started. we put it out to bid, and we only had two companies bid. One was Pike. Industries and once was Libby Scott, so uh, we've got a shortage, I think, of paving companies in this area. But Libby and Scott buys their paving from Pike. No, they buy their hot tub from Pike. Right, they buy. The, I know they do. I mean, they all work together. I know. There's only so many suppliers. Yeah, we it know. Comes right down <laughs> so, uh, okay. it's, it's just something to look at. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll do. <clears throat> so. All right. <clears throat> Account payable, and we have a lot of them because we haven't met for so long. <laughs> Two weeks. Three weeks. Oh. Yeah. Three weeks. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Is accounts payable warrant one nine five six from June thirtieth, two thousand nineteen, for the amount of twelve thousand seven hundred thirty one dollars and ninety five cents. Water warrant zero nine five six from June thirtieth, two thousand nineteen, for the amount of five hundred fifty two dollars and twenty six cents. Is uh, 
Account payable warrant 2004 from July 25th, 2019, for the amount of $105,471.21. <clears throat> Water warrant 004 from July 25th, 2019, for the amount of $3,400.21. Payroll warrant. 2004 from July 25th, 2019 for the amount of $72,816.44. Payroll warrant 2005 from August 1st, 2019 for the amount of $64,739.89. Uh, <coughs> Account payable warrant. 2005 from August 1st, 2019 for the amount of $1,112,722.37. Water warrant 005 from August 7th, 2019 for the amount of $3,777.83. Account payables warrant 2006 from August 8th, 2019, the amount of $120,692.35. <coughs> Water warrant 006 from August 8th, 2019, for the amount of $3,018.30. <coughs> Payroll warrant 2006 from August 8th, 2019, for the amount of $68,884.64. Payroll warrant 2007 from August 15th, 2019 for the amount of $63,314.35. Um, can you what's go that? back to the second second one, the water warrant uh, 0956? Is that on that? $252.26. Okay, that's not what I thought I heard. Yeah, I, I just my dyslexia sure. might have kicked in. <coughs> so. Um, I'll make a motion that we pay our bills. I'll second it. Any discussion? All those in favor? Thank you. That brings us to new business. Is it November 5th, 2019 town referendum warrant? Oh, let's see. That is under number 13. So tonight we approve it and then we vote on it next time. Is that it, Patty? Uh, no, nope, tonight you're going to vote yes or no for each article. Oh, I Next time you sign it. <coughs> okay. Um, we have time to think about it or? Just <laughs> 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 checking. Well, you had time, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, <coughs> Article one to elect a moderate moderator is uh, is all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Article two. Tell the shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of fifty thousand dollars to purchase new capital equipment for the fire department for the remainder of the fiscal year 2019-2020 with any unspent balances to carry forward each year until fully expended. As a note. This account will be used to fund the purchase of personal protective equipment and to continue the replacement of SCBA bottles and hoses. <coughs> Is, um, any questions over it? Oh, I would spell out SCBA just because I think... Self-contained breathing apparatus. Well, I, well obviously. <laughs> <but> <laughs> you I think the general yep, public right. may not be aware. Right. So. <coughs> Is, uh, we'll make that, make that change. <coughs> is uh, any other discussion? No. Nope. We have a motion. So moved. We have a second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Five. I just get a total yes, total no instead of a motion. I don't need a motion. Yeah, five oh. yes. Okay. Okay. Article three. Shall the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $45,000 as the first loan payment for the purchase of LED lights for the replacement of 200 street lights throughout the town and also to replace all fluorescent lighting within all municipal buildings. 
This will authorize the Board of Selectmen to enter into a lease purchase agreement on terms it deems appropriate, appropriate with the balance to be paid over a period of no longer than four years, <clears throat> as payback should be realized over a 3.5 year period. So what are we doing, Steve? Borrowing the money for this? Yeah. From mm -hmm. who? I don't know yet. Probably from a bank. Okay, so no, we don't know yet. Okay. Yeah. Once I got to get it approved first. <laughs> <laughs> so well, that gives me the best lease price. Is a, as, as a note, is the cost savings per year is, is estimated is the street lights is $31,404 a year, and with the buildings, it's $3,500 a year. Is, um, now, this is something that we've talked about you know, <coughs> over the last several months, <coughs> and uh, I, I think that the, uh, everybody will uh, really appreciate it when we see some savings coming in. What's the total amount spent? How much is the total amount? Well, it was 96000 for just street, street lights. lights. Yeah. And then the other estimate for the this building uh, was and the police was around three or 4000 savings per month. <coughs> no. Or per year, I'm sorry. Yeah. But, so. We've had one company come in and do the this building, and we had another company uh, who hasn't been in yet. He's trying to get it scheduled. And... Uh, and we had another company uh, out of Texas who uh, was here um, about six months ago who did all the street lights and, and the buildings. Priced out the street lights of the buildings? Yeah. So it's. It, We're it's going a, off their number then? Yeah. I, the, one of them is very fair. Out of Texas? Yeah. One, the Texas one is higher. So. Uh, mm. Are traffic lights LED? No, I would know? doubt it. No. They're old. Yeah, they are old, and I think <coughs> we had quite a bit of savings last time when they put them to flashing right, in the evening. Right. So really? I imagine if we went LED, we would probably see even more savings if we, if we pursued that avenue as Those well. Those are scheduled, hopefully, to be replaced when we do the intersection over on Sawmill Hill, mm -hmm. which is we're looking to do that, like I said, during our workshop. Uh, the next article talks about that, but we um, hopefully will qualify for a CDBG grant that will take, take care, care of, of some of that. Right. So it's encouraging. Any further discussion? I think CMP would step up to the plate and with all the shenanigans and pay for some of this. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. They make enough money. They're barely paying yeah. for their shenanigans. Is that, I don't know if you've seen the news reports lately, but when some of the cities and towns that CMP has done this with is uh, have, are having troubles with their contracts with them. The city of Portland's been having an ongoing... Now that's because there's, bro there's breakage underground. Right, and so there's a con contract Yeah, well they got them over a barrel now. Right. CMP will take it. Anyway. So, but, you know, this, this is, no, when, when Make we... Make a motion. No, uh, we don't need a motion, Patty said, so... We don't. I no, say aye. All, all, those in, all those in favor? Aye. Yes. Aye. Five. Opposed? No. <coughs> Article 4. To see if the town will authorize the Board of Selectmen to apply on behalf of the town for federal finance and assistance under the provision of Community Development Block Grant for the Envision Berwick Village Revitalization Project and further authorize the Selectmen to enter into the Community Development Block Grant Agreement with the state subsequent to federal approval of the project. Is I'll talk about it. That's the uh, half a million dollars that I had just mentioned. The, we have to do a letter of intent, uh, and it has to be submitted by March. So this was last year. We haven't seen the newest ones, but it's usually March. So we have to have approval from the public to first authorize us to submit the grant application. And then the next article will talk about the funding, which is a 20% match. Um, but we need approval that we will put that in the budget for the 2021 budget, which will be next year. So it covers all of that, but that will include uh, the work up on Sawmill Hill, some of the traffic lights, and hopefully uh, some of the sidewalk work and things like that. That's just starting on that. And there's some other grants that we're looking at, but this one is due by March, so I want to make sure we get it in on time and approved. Any further questions? No. All those in favor? Five. No opposed. 
Article 5. <clears throat> to see if the town will raise and appropriate the sum of $125,000 as matching funds for the 2020-2021 fiscal year budget should Article 4 be approved. Note, this is a 25% match based on a $500,000 grant award, which would be available July 1, 2020. This article must be part of the application that will be submitted in March 2020. So, Steve, you know, just went through that, so very competitive no. um, I just wonder why are these two separate articles when they seem to be very interconnected it's the way the CDBG wants it done okay first you have to have permission to apply to apply yeah. from the legislative body and then once and if article 4 passes then you have to ask the public if they're willing to fund it okay. so I just it just feels like that I mean, it would be pretty funny if Article 4 passes, Article 5 doesn't, and then we're right back to, like, it didn't matter yeah. if it passed in the first place. It's so the way CDBG is all out of their format, so. Yeah. <coughs> Just seems weird. Yeah, well, it's state government. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, um, um, all those in favor? 5-0. Yep, Article 6. To see if the town will approve the Board of Selectmen to enter into a memorandum of agreement with the Berwick Public Library trustees to manage all operational expenses for 2020-2021. Note, the town would raise and appropriate all operational expenses from taxes as part of the town annual budget approval process. The town has funded the Berwick Public Library in fiscal year 2019-2020 at $109,000. This will allow the library to increase their hours and provide full-time staffing and increased programs. So let's talk about that. <coughs> so it'll become, it'll become a department of the town? Yes. After that fact? Yeah. It, and our contribution will go up every year? Well, it's, it would go up as any as other. Needed. As needed. As needed, yeah. As any other department in town. Yeah, right. mostly. So have agents. to go through the budget process yeah, yeah, and be yeah. approved. As, um, <coughs> as the, uh, you know, Steve and I have met with the library board a couple of different times to talk about this. And, uh, you know, there's some question about whether, you know, you ramp up immediately, you know, to, to full time or not, you know, so that's something that would have to be, you know, figured out later on. They become town employees in the union? They become town employees, well, not necessarily the union. They wouldn't be part of the union right away unless they wanted to be, I guess. That's the question, but that has to go through the negotiation process. And hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah, step. <coughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, Eleanor Murphy, Rochester Street. As you know, the library is a very important piece of this town to me and has been for, God, I can't remember how many years. But anyway, and I'm glad that it has become a department of the town. I think the time has come for it to be that. And, uh, but now, will they have the same benefits as the town's workers? Yes. They'd have the same benefits as any other town employee. So yeah. actually, it, it's a full department of the town now. Yes. And, and it will be uh, the, bu the budget you'll be worked through with the Board of Directors. Just like we do. Yeah. yeah, the trustees, uh, the uh, MOU M -O uh, would be set up so the Board of Trustees still would exist. They would still guide uh, the, the, li the librarian on what the uh, funding needs are. So, and then they would present it to the Board of Selectmen, just like they do every year. But uh, instead, this time, it will be, uh, gay. you know, I'll be in charge of the staffing and things like that. So You, you do the hiring? And I'll do the hiring. Well, as I do in any department, uh, in that department, Sharon would be a person who would sit down and make her recommendations, recommendations to me. Yeah. Yep. But, but it's all, it's going to be exactly, well, you know, years ago, we put that out to the townspeople, and um, in that almost the people didn't want it. Yeah. But at that time, it, it, it didn't seem that important. But as the years have gone on, I think those of us who have been involved in the library have seen that this is a necessity coming. Yeah. And I'm glad to see it. It's, that it's that a very busy place. If, if people haven't been to the library, they need to go up when the library is open and see the programs that they're running and see the number of people who are there during the daytime okay. using the services. Uh, it's it's and, and just they need, and they outstanding. Need, they need volunteers, and uh, we used to raise a lot of money for the library, but yeah. old age caught up with most of us. <laughs> so. 
So what are we looking at, Steve, for an increase in costs? So if they, they're going to be town employees, so they're going to get all the bennies as everyone else. Do we have we run and find out what the cost increase is going to yeah, be? Yeah, I have a pretty good idea. Well, based on um, Sharon submitted uh, what she thought would be fair wages, and we talked about that. I know the cost of the benefits, so we're probably looking at a couple hundred thousand dollars more. Over and above, oh, it's well, a couple hundred thousand over and above what we have yeah, now? That's so you're looking like a $350,000 budget. Yeah. which is percentage-wise is pretty small amount. And that's also to get us to full-time as well. Right, not everybody would be full-time. She's got scheduled, I think, three full-time people counting herself. She currently has two people, and then she has uh, two part-time people on top of that, but who I mean would not get the benefits of, employee, of a full-time person. But what I mean is the, 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 the increase to that number, that's to get to full-time programs and everything like that. That's not just what we're taking on yeah, you know, no, to no. keep it as it is. No, yeah, to keep it as it is wouldn't be that expensive. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. have to do that. But and we, 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 chat, we have to worry about the maintenance now of the building. Once we take that on, maintenance of building, parking lot. They're lines, still going to do fundraising, and that part of it has not been worked out. They still want to be able to, the trustees want to be able to apply for grants, which I'm, I'm very supportive of that. <laughs> when you've got people who want to apply for grants, and they're not working their volunteers yep. and there's also the, the the friends of the library you know they they do a lot of the fundraising also yeah and they would continue <clears throat> so um i i think it's so just for the public the building no the building will stay separate huh? that's the way they they wanted it the trustees brought that up but again that that has to be worked out first i need to, this needs to be approved and then the mou uh, we'll get hammered out between the trustees and, and the, the board of selectmen what the agreement will be. Um, I'd love to sit down with you and hear your thoughts on that because uh, I'm curious. But uh, it's a beautiful building and uh, it's not big enough anymore. <laughs> that, that's, that's just what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, uh, just to sort of public here is we, one of the developers that came into town uh, to look at the prime site and put their heart and soul into building a, uh, an amazing facility over here, and we're hopeful they do. One of their first questions was, do we have a library? And where is it? <laughs> yeah, and where is it? How many churches do you have? <clears throat> What's your recreation program like? They were interested in the community of Berwick. And, and the library, from my perspective, is a very important part of that. So that's just my philosophy. And I, and I see that, so. It is when we used to have to walk a mile in some of the library when I was in school. <laughs> and we have a great crew up there. Okay. Just, just a technical thing. Are we going for a memorandum of agreement, which would be an MOA, or a memorandum of understanding, which is an MOU? <laughs> oh, good catch. Yeah, um, it'd be an MO, uh, memorandum of understanding or agreement. Either one. Um, we I just, we just have to match the. We two. have to match right. them up. Yeah, I'll make sure that it's yeah. edited. Usually, Patty catches those on me. <laughs> I trusted the lawyer. Yeah, but the that will all be drawn up by legal as well so the only thing I would say it says uh, you know manage all the operational expenses for 2020 through 2021 um, doesn't to me that doesn't convey that we're taking it over in a permanent way it yep. sounds more like we're taking it over for one year I agree with that so I think there's wording should be yeah changed changed to be more reflective that this is a permanent and we're taking change. it over permanently yeah not a temporary one. Okay, we'll change the wording for the next meeting. That Make sure it reflects that. Further discussion? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Good, good point. Is uh, those in favor? Five zero. Thank you. And now we have a CMP poll permit on Diamond Hill Road. I usually go out and look at these ahead of time, but I didn't on this one. So this is just basically uh, adding the pole in for a new house. It is the same as we've done before. Diamond Hill, number 239. 
because uh, everything is uh, done to our standards as far as distances and uh, height off the road. I would move we accept the CMP application for poll location as presented. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Patty, do we have a copy to sign on that or is it just? Just you, isn't it? It's just the ones oh, we have here, it's right? All of us. That's right? Thank you. Uh, we have no quick claim deeds or installment contracts. No. No abatements or supplementals. Second public comment. Anybody wish to comment on the second public comment? Going once, going twice? I guess not. Mm. We have no executive session. Other business and non-agenda items, we have none that I know of. Motion to adjourn. I will second. All those in favor? Thank you. Have a good evening, everybody.